Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this tutorial, we are going to look at hash set. Now hash set implements the set interface and that is why it does not allow duplicate values. For example, if we try to add an element multiple times to a hash set, then it will actually add it only once. Okay. So you will have only a single copy of any element inside a hash set, right? Now I'll just quickly create a hash set of string. Let's say, color set. Now I'll just import this class. Okay. Now for adding elements to a hash set, we have this add method similar to our add list. Okay. So I'll just add a few colors to it. So I'll just say color set dot add. And here I'm specifying the value. Now similarly, I'll add a few more colors. Let's say blue and green. Okay. Now this add method over here, it returns us a Boolean value. So if an element is successfully added to our hash set, then it will return true, else it will return false. So what I'll do is I'll just add a system uh, dot out dot print element statement over here. So I'll just say sys out control space. And here I'll just uh, specify the value. Okay, so whatever the method will return, we'll see it on the screen, right? Similarly, I'll do it for the other statements. Right now, let's run this program. Now, as you can see, we're getting true for all of these statements. And that is because we don't have any duplicate values over here, right? Now, what I'll do is I'll just copy paste one of these statements again, so that we have a duplicate value. So let's say I copy paste the color blue. Okay. And now let's run this program. And yes, in this case, we are getting a false value over here. Okay. So this is how it works. The first color which we are trying to add is red. And since it is not existing in the hash set, this add method will return true. Then similarly, the next add method will also return true because blue is also not present in the hash set. But in case of the third add method, the color blue is already there in the hash set. So this will return false, right? So this add method will not add this blue color again into the hash set, right? So it will be skipped. And again, uh, the last add method is trying to add green, which will be added successfully. Okay. So yeah, this is how it works. Now I'll just remove this code from here because uh, it was just for explaining how the add method works. Okay. Now, another point regarding a hash set is that uh, it does not maintain the insertion order. For example, if we add or insert elements to a hash set in some order, then when we print the elements of that hash set, there is no guarantee that we will get the data in the same order in which we have inserted, right? Now again, one more point, uh, the underlying data structure over here is a hash table. Okay. So let's uh, start with the practical. So I'll first create a hash set object. Okay, so we create a hash set of student. Let's import the hash set class. And now let's add some student objects to it. Okay, so let's say s1, s3, uh, then I'll add s2 three times, and then again s4. Okay, now let's iterate over this hash set. So first I'll use the for each loop for iterating. So I'll run the for each loop which says for each student inside the student set, just print the value of that object. Okay. Now uh, we'll use the iterator for iterating. So this is using iterator. So I'll just create an iterator object first. So this is our iterator of student. Okay, let me import the iterator class. And now I'll run a while loop over here. So while itr dot has next, here I've created a student object. So student student is equal to itr dot next. Okay. Now over here, we don't have to do any type casting. Okay. So if you remember our array list example here, we had done type casting. Okay. Which was not required because our iterator is of that type itself. Okay. So in this case, our iterator is of type student. So it is going to return us a student object. Okay. So there is no need of type casting over here. Right now, after this, uh, we are just going to print the value of that object. So these are the two methods. Now, 
since the hash set class does not have the get method, we cannot use the for loop for iterating. Okay. But we have another way of iterating over a hash set and that is by using the for each method of Java 8. Okay. So the last way of iterating is by using a for each method. So here we just have to say student set dot for each and inside that I'm saying system dot out and then we have a double colon and then print ln. Okay. So this will again print all the elements of our hash set. Now let's run this program. Now before running, as we said, a hash set does not allow duplicate values. So in this case, it should uh, not have three values for S2. It should have only one. Okay. So let's run this program. And yes, as you can see, there is only one copy of this particular student object. Okay. And also the insertion order is not maintained. Okay. So over here we had inserted S1 first and then S3, then S2 and then S4. But over here, the order is different. Okay. So we have S1, S2, S3 and S4, right? Now hash set uses both hash code and equals method for distinguishing between different student objects. Okay. So it's not just the equals method, but it also uses the hash code method, right? So what we can do is we'll just go to our student class and from here, just remove the equals method. And now let's run this program. And you can see the repeated values over here. So it is not working properly, right? So now what we'll do is we'll just keep the equals method and remove the hash code method. And again, let's run this. And again, we are getting the same result. We are seeing the repeated values. So it means that it requires both the hash code and equals method to work properly. Okay. Now let's run this. And yes, it is working fine now. So yeah, that's it guys. Thank you for watching and see you in my next tutorial.